Hello friends, in last video we have covered the problem of modern analysis, this theoretical part. So last video we have just covered what is modern analysis and what is the importance of modern analysis. If you if you missed that video, I will give the video link in our description box. You can also check my i button information. You will also get the information of that last video. Today I am going to solve the same problem using ANSYS. So, Stay tuned with me. I am going to solve the problem of modern analysis in ANSYS. Let's get started now. First of all, I am going to open ANSYS software. It's the version 20 R1. So, as you all know that the first step is that we have to drag the problem and it's a type of modern analysis as we discussed in the last video. First step is just like engine data. So, here we just pick the structural steel and because in last uh, problem last video i have taken the values of the structural steel as a given data so in this problem we also so in this video we will also take the same structural steel as a material now go for geometry here the option I, either we can create either we can import so i'm going to import the model we, we have already created the same uh, some other softwares so just import the model and just update it now go for model so this will be the our third step going to click on the model and uh, you will get the ANSYS workbench layout so this is the overview of our ANSYS workbench layout so here we, I'm going to solve the problem of modern analysis in the ANSYS so there is geometry, material, meshing. So before going to run the simulation, we have to go for meshing. So meshing is very important. We just mess on, we just going to mesh on the basis of element size. So we have taken the 20 mm. Maybe it's a little high. I will go for some lower values. So let's try with 15 mm right now. Yeah, it looks fine, but uh, I think uh, there there should be a more improvement. There's a more there should be more improvement. So I will just take the element size of 10 mm. The engineer miss. So this is the miss model. So this is the miss model of our finite element method. So this is the miss model. So pre stress values and and set settings. Now here the mode shape we have to find out. So by default it's six. You can also change it by 8, 12, whatever you want. So, as as in last video, I told you that uh, uh, we generally consider 6 degree of freedom. So, here we also take the 6 mode shape. So, go for total deformation and then solve the problem and just plot the results with the different mode shapes. So, let's see what are the results we will, we will see here. So, these are the mode shapes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and uh, 5 have, have value, 6 have value and 1, 2, 3, 4 have no values so just uh, animate the things so this is the animation of first mode so it, it means that during our first mode the our model will behave like this way go for second mode, second mode again animate so this is the uh, behavior of second mode of our structure so whenever the mode shape is second so it will be and will behave like this then go for third in same way and uh, we can also go with third fourth whatever you want so i'm going to just take the fifth example and again solve the problem and uh, just uh, run, run, run the simulation then these are the mode shape of the structure without having the loads so you, you, you have also taken the minimum maximum average value of results as given in the data below so uh, that's it now from this video so you can also change the frame size number of seconds of animation in this way you can also create videos for your presentations i hope you understand this video and uh, if you have any questions any doubt feel free to ask questions through comment box i will definitely answer the questions that's it guys and if you are a if you are new to my channel please feel free to subscribe to my channel and uh, like my videos and stay tuned with me i have lots of information about ansys fem DFD problems like affiliate marketing, like freelancing, like digital marketing. You will get lots of idea. Thank you so much.